go. We are live. Go ahead and share this on out. That like button. People with that like button as you come in. I'm uh, going to start out with a little uh, big thank you to um, uh, J Dub City for coming on yesterday and uh, uh, going over why, you know, uh, another uh, multi plat game is looks and runs better on the PlayStation, apparently, according to Zaddy. I mean, not according to me, okay? According to Zaddy. So we got that all done yesterday. But shout out to him for coming on. That was short notice. And um, so, um, but a uh, big shout out to him. Also, a uh, big shout out to uh, T3 Medias. Um, um, uh, Going to be doing some collaboration with him and uh, got his email today. I just got home like an hour ago. So um, let me go ahead and shout out the people that are on the, that's going to be doing this. Um, so uh, let's see here. All right. So on, on his, um, on his network, besides myself here and him, um, he added a couple other people, one person named Goldilocks and um, just added somebody. Look, what's here named Nikki. So, um, so uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to bring all of them on my podcast at some point, either all together, or uh, we're gonna all try to podcast with each other to start, you know, uh, building up our channels and things like that. And because uh, everybody's all offers di offers different things, so uh, but shout out to um, to him for inviting me. I'm definitely gonna try to hold down my end of the bargain and. Uh, just let me know, bro, uh, when you want to come back on, or I'll reach out to you. So uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll get that going. But hit that like button, people. Hit that like button. I wanted to announce that. But uh, T3 Meters, he came on. He's the uh, young brother I had on. We talked about Spider-Man for about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, this is when um, all, they were still negotiating. Sony and Marvel were still negotiating things like that. So uh, he definitely brought some levity to the situation. Definitely knows more about the comics and things like that than I do. So uh, definitely going to um, pick pick the brain of, uh, of him. And everybody needs to go, like I said, sub to his channel. I'm going to go ahead and drop that link of his channel. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Um, one more time in that chat so you guys can um go sub to him as well because we're going to be trying to build a um trying to build a network here definitely could use you guys support you guys have been there for me and i do appreciate it so um let me go ahead and drop that on in there so that's um to him so go sub to his channel but all right then guys just real quick i <laughs> like I said, I did not want to stay on super long. This will be a short, uh, quick one. This is like a, um, this is like a strike here, a little like a SEAL team strike. Um, for everybody who is surprised that Kojima's game, an independent studio, is there, he's put the game's going to PC. It's it, okay. Let's start with the fact: the fact that Sony does not own Kojima Studio. OK, they don't own Kojima Studios and I'm going to I'm going to bring it up here right here on my um, oh, I'm, a, I'm Mr. Share my screen. I'm going to do my uh, Porter Rock thing here and uh, we're just going to look at and this is as of August 28th. So this is 30 days, not 60 days ago. I'm sorry. And um, I, I'm getting this from Push Square. So everybody knows where I'm getting it from. And. Um, so here's all of Sony Interactive Entertainment's first party studios. This is as of August 28th. Okay, so they have Forward Works in Japan, okay? And it tells you when they established them, 2016. So this is brand new. Yeah, they have No Heroes, No Heroes Allowed, Dash, Wild Arm, never heard of that. Million Memories, Art the Lad R. So these, that's what they're working on. And again, this is a first party studio. Okay, then they have Japan Studio, SIE Japan. So 1993 established, Tokyo. So they're doing everybody's golf. Okay, now that's a VR game. I don't know what else they've worked on, but that's what they that's what they're working on. So 
again, I'm showing you all this because they do not own Kojima Studios, nor do they own Quantic Dream. So um, then they have Poly Polyphonic Digital. Of course, you know they that's Gran Turismo. They've made all your Gran Turismo games, whether it be Sport, Ace, Ace Bet, whatever that was called back in the day, uh, all the Gran Turismo games. Okay. So those are the ones that are in Japan. Okay, these are their Japan studios, all right? All right, then you move to the European studios. These are all Sony first-party studios, okay? Guerrilla Games, they own Guerrilla Games. Of course, you know, uh, they established them, you know, almost 20 years ago. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is a current project rumored, online multiplayer shooter rumor, but Guerrilla Games also brought you other games. I think they brought you Kill Zone 1, 2, or whatever, how many Kill Zones there are. Uh, SIE London, they're doing blood and truth. Okay, we're just looking at the first party studios. Again, they do not own Kojima Studios, nor do they own Quantic Dream Studios. Okay, so because those are independent developers. So they just they have what you would call second and third party deals with them. That's all they have with these studios. So Sony Manchester Studio, they're working on a VR game. Okay. We're going to the VR game. Everybody knows that, okay? Media Molecule, okay? They're doing Dreams. Now, we all know Media, Media Molecule wants Dreams to be Sony's PlayStation's version of Minecraft. So where, where Minecraft is on multiple platforms, they want to do that. That's their goal for this game. And whether they achieve it or not, we'll have to wait and see. But they want this game. They want you to be able to bring this game up, whether you're on a tablet, a cell phone, whatever, you know, laptop. They want you to be able to play this game anywhere, you know, develop, wherever it inspires you. Everybody who has dreams understands that. So, okay. Sony Interactive Entertainment XDev, XDev Europe. This is, this, is, uh, this was established in 2000. This was the studio that they were talking about combining, I think, with another studio, okay? But that's that's it. Okay, so they also have helped XDev Europe works with independent developers on first-party PlayStation projects. I'm going to say that again. XDev Europe works with independent developers on first-party PlayStation projects. Past high-profile examples include Until Dawn, which went to PC. I believe Until Dawn may be on PC. And Detroit Become Human, Quantic Dream. Because, again, they do not own these two studios. Now, people have said they made a mistake by not buying Quantic Dream. Fair enough. I prefer them to buy Supermassive, but that's my opinion. Remember I said that during the year? But, again, I'm glad this is up here so now you all can see this in black and white. They, I mean, I, this, this should have been known, okay, on what they own and what they don't own. So what they do is they strike deals with independent studios to publish. Let me make that clear. Because remember, Sony publishes games too. Sony will publish games first party. So they publish Detroit Become Human on their platform. That's it. They publish Until Dawn on their platform. OK, that's all they did. They don't own the game. It would be great. Again, I think that would be a good studio for them to get. But that's my opinion. OK, so now we're going to move to North America. Sony Ben. OK, Ben did Days Gone. They've also done Siphon Filter. OK, these are actual first party Sony studios. OK, so you will always see only on PlayStation on these games. OK. Uh, Insomniac. Now, this is why I, I use this list because this is the most up-to-date list. This is a they. This is established 2014. They scooped it up in 2019, and again, they made Spyro. They make uh, Ratchet and Clank. They make the Resistance series, and of course, uh, Spider-Man. And the rumors that they're working on Spider-Man 2 right now. It's a rumor. They may not be. It may be. In, it may be Resistance. It may be another Ratchet and Clank because I do know Sony wants to make another Ratchet and Clank movie so but again spider-man that's why it says on the cover only on playstation um ben days gone if you buy days gone i believe it says only on playstation if you buy um 
there, sorry. If you buy uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, it says only on PlayStation. I know that because I'm looking at that cartridge right now. So uh, uh, Naughty Dog, okay? They own Naughty Dog. So again, you can buy a Naughty Dog physical game and it says only on PlayStation because it's a true first party studio. They're working on The Last of Us Part Two. That's, you know, we all know that, but they've made Crash Bandicoot. They made Jack and Dexter. They made Uncharted. They made Uncharted Lost Legacy. So, um, you know, Pixels, Pixel Pus, okay? <laughs> so they did Concrete Genie, the game that everybody's playing right now. It came out, I think it was $29 or $39. They made this. They are located in the United States of America. Again, if you buy Concrete Genie, I believe it does say only on PlayStation, okay? San Diego Studios, okay? They make, this is a first party studio, they make MLB The Show, okay? We know that MLB The Show 20 is coming out. Uh, but again, I believe if you buy that cartridge, if you buy that physical game, it says only on PlayStation, okay? Because it's a first party game. Sony Santa Monica, of course, God of War. Everybody knows that. If you buy the God of War physical cartridge, top right-hand corner, only on PlayStation. It's a first-party studio. Sucker Punch, okay? Uh, working on Ghost of Tsushima. Pro guarantee you when, this, when these games come out, the sequels and all this, it will say only on PlayStation. Now, the reason why, and that's it. Those are their first-party studios. So, why people are surprised that an independent studio with um, that that Sony doesn't own, in this case it's Kojima Studio. Again, they don't own Supermassive. And I believe Man of Medan is on PC. I believe it, and I believe it's a multi-plat game. They don't own Quantic Dream. Quantic Dream was bought by another group. They can put Detroit Become Human. They put it on PC. They Again, Sony doesn't own the game. They simply own the publishing rights. To the game, um, and then um, and then and then the Kojima game, Death Stranding. They don't own these studios, so and Death Stranding is being published on PC, not by Sony. It's being published by Five Hundred Five Studios. I'm going to say that again. Death Stranding is being published on PC, not by Sony, but by um, but by um, I'm sorry, Five Hundred Five Studios. Sony doesn't own that. So all Sony did was because they gave Kojima, they helped Kojima get a studio started because they they worked with him for years. Um, they helped them. They gave him the Decima engine, which he did use and improve upon. What you need to understand is what Kojima put into the Decima engine, that's owned by Sony. So that whatever Kojima did to the Decima engine to improve it, now all the Sony studios that use Decima or to use a form of Decima now have access to what he did in that game, you know, to improve the code, what he took out, what he put in, things like that. So all of Sony's games are going to benefit from that, okay? And they're the only games that can because that is Sony's proprietary engine. That's got... Havoc in it. It's got euphoria in it. It's its, its own physical engine. So, um, <laughs> so my question to you is why you all don't even know what Sony owns and doesn't own. And I'm talking about the people that are bitching, okay? Because I, I just came home, and like I said, they, they had to get our power turned back on over here. The, the hell they're doing. But um, I just see a bunch of bitching and moaning. For nothing. Yeah, and it's simple. You guys are listening to the wrong people. So you either don't know the difference in publishing rights and first party studio rights. Sony, I mean, again, even the studio that did um, No Man's Sky, Hello Games, all, all they had, Sony published No Man's Sky to PlayStation. That's it. That's all they did. They they took that they took a game that was going to be on PC, and they they got rights to it to come to their console first. The game still went to PC. The game still went multi platform because they didn't own the game. They don't own the studio. So um, let's see. The whole thing got your nerves too. They have a trademark and engine. They also put yeah. Well, no, 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 no. But you people got to understand all a trademark does 
is it makes it it gives you a uh, it gives you some type of right over the name. So uh, Kojima Studios, if they go to make a Death Stranding two, a, a part two, they Sony has to they have to buy that trademark from Sony. They have to buy it. So because they or or he could call it something else. No different than um than Remedy Studios who owns who made Quantum Break, but Microsoft owns the name Quantum Break. So they could not make a game called Quantum Break 2. They can't make Quantum Break 2 because Microsoft owns the name. So they made a, a spiritual successor called Control. That's all trademarking is. That's it. That's why Donald Trump tried to trademark the phrase "you're fired." You, you know, years ago, he tried to trademark that because that's on his TV show. That's what would happen. You're fired. You got to go. You know, you're fired. Go home. So it's it's crazy. So only question is, will Sony allow the Decima engine to be used on PC? Um, yes, the Decima engine was developed on PC. What do you think they developed it on? Where do you think they got the tools at? Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I mean, it's not like they're going to remake the whole game to put it on PC. Sony isn't publishing the game on PC. 505 Studios is. The name Death Stranding is trademarked by Sony. The engine is Sony's engine, okay? But that's it. The game itself, they don't owe Kojima. Kojima is an independent developer. Yes, Sony helped get his shit started. But it's no different than years ago, a rapper producer named Master P produced one of Snoop Dogg's albums called The Game Is To Be Told Not To Be Sold. The album was trash. The, the album was trash, okay? But it served, but Master P producing it got Snoop Dogg out of death row. That's how Snoop Dogg got out of death row because Master P paid him out. You know, and said, okay, your deal is you got to make an album and I'm going. it's going to be produced under my No Limit. I think that's the name of Master P Studio record. My point to you is that Master P does not own Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is an independent artist, okay? So he couldn't say to Snoop Dogg, well, look, you're only going to put it out on, on this CD, okay? You're only going to put it out on CD. You're not going to put it out on tape. You're not going to put it out on a, on, a, on a 78 album. I'm sorry, 33. You know, you're not going to do that. We're not going to put it on, you know, it it's, doesn't work like that. But my whole point is that there's a there's a group of people in the PlayStation community running around saying that this game won't ever be on PC and this won't be on PC. The, the, the third-party games made by independent developers, again, you just saw them. You saw Quantic Dream up there you saw super massive games up there i mean these are the studios that people are saying sony should acquire remedy games okay uh house marquee those are independent developers if house marquee walked into sony's uh sie and said we would like to make a game for you would you all help back it uh financially and sony would say yeah but in order for us to back it financially, we want a one-year um, exclusivity clause. And House Marquis says, okay, then after the one year, we will put the game wherever we want. All right? That's what happens. If you don't understand that, look at Rise of the Tomb Raider because Microsoft helped fund that game. They told that studio, I guess it was Square Enix. Was it Square Enix? Can't remember Square Soft or Square Enix. Square Enix, I think. They said to Square Enix, you're going to use this game will be on our platform for one year. Okay? And it's be and it's because they when it was up, Titanfall Princess, it's because they helped fund the game. So they said, in order for you want to use our money, fine, you're going to give us priority on this game. It's the same thing that happened with Days Gone or Death Stranding. It's the same thing. Sony helped fund the game, helped get the studio going, and they they love Kojima. Sony's a Japanese studio. They're not going to sit up there and let Kojima just float out there. They It's either you can get him in your studio to make you something, or you can sit back and do nothing. And they decided to say, okay, 
Kojima could say, I want to bring a game to your platform. And uh, Sony could say, well, since you're using our engine, since we're going to help you find your studio and help you get started, we want to prioritize that and give us, I don't know, Sony could have asked for one year. Sony could have asked for one year, okay? And Kojima could have come back and said, no, I'm giving you six months exclusivity. And Sony's like, fine. Okay, because Sony's the one that gets to promote the game. The game is being shown on their platform, their hardware first. That helps them sell more hardware, okay? So it's a win. It's a win-win for these companies. And the mere fact that you all, that there's a group of people, it's not all of, it's not everybody. There's a group of people out there who don't understand trademarking versus publishing rights versus what is actually physically owned. You now have a website. I just put that website down there. And it's in, a matter of fact, let me see if I can find it here. I'm just going to put it in the description. Ah, hell, I think it dropped off. Let me find it again. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to put this in the description or in the thing so that so that people can just go look at it. Because this is an up-to-date uh, thing. So this is very up-to-date. This is 60 days old. So this is right at the end of the quarter. Okay. There you go. So I just put that link in there. So that's from Push Square. That's a, that's a PlayStation-centric um, place to be. And, um, you know, they, they're a pro PlayStation, so or pro Sony, I'll say. So um, there. I mean, that's pretty much all I can really say. I just do not understand. So only console dudes care about Death Stranding on a PC. Well, I mean, again, I don't know why they would because Sony does not own that game. They don't own it. They, they trademarked it so that they could do what? They trademark this so that they can do what? What do you have to do when you trademark something? You're going to start friggin' uh, promoting it. That's what Sony did. That's what they did. Okay? So, again, I've not seen Death Stranding running on PC. I haven't seen it, it because Sony has a deal with Kojima. They can, it can only be shown on Sony's proprietary hardware for now. For now. But that... And that has been going on. When did they show Death Stranding first? When was the first time we saw Death Stranding? Okay, was it at P was it at PSX or was it at to not Tokyo but um, Paris Games Week? Uh, was it at PSX like in 2017 or something like that? So or so Sony's had proprietary uh, lock on that since since that game got shown. Whenever they shown that and everybody showed they they showed the norm they showed that. Quick trailer with um, Miles Mickelson. That was that? That was like 2017, wasn't it? So that was 2017. So that's how long Sony has had that game locked up. They've had that shit locked up for um, what? Three years? Three years? <laughs> you know so. Uh, I think question is Sony is will Sony license the engine to Kojima or will Kojima Studios have to pay royalties? Look, Kojima Studios is going to more than likely when that goes to PC start paying royalties. Okay, because it, it it is a business and they you you want somebody to co like Kojima working with you, not working against you, and uh, them. It, to me, it doesn't matter. Sony owns the Decima engine. That is their engine, okay? It is licensed to Kojima Studios. So, yeah, they're going to be paying some royalties on that shit, but it's not like Kojima ain't got the money. So, <laughs> so you know, it'll only be available for the PlayStation for six months and enjoy. Yeah, and and again, it's it's been only shown on PlayStation for two years. And again, yeah, I mean, I don't understand why people are, I don't want to say they're spreading false information because that's wrong. They are spreading information that's just not accurate. So check the link for what? <laughs> uh, Sony Computer is entering into an agreement with Kojima Studio. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will be taking on a new challenge to 
by establishing my own independent studio. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and um, I'll screen share this. But I, I thought everybody knew this. I mean, clearly he says, um, I will be taking on a new challenge by establishing my own independent studio. That's it. So I am thrilled to be able to embark on this journey with PlayStation, who I have continued to work with all these past years, said Hideo Kojima, game designer, Kojima Productions. So I cannot wait to deliver with PlayStation a game that will that will become a compelling franchise. Again, you you he never says it's going to only be on PlayStation. So that goes into about something. So, and this is from 2015. So this just shows you how how buttery moist some of these people are. Okay, then this is stuff that I mean, look, Andrew House was still there for Christ's sake. So I mean, again, it's just look, Pudel uh, Vajima has been a huge part of that history, and we are therefore delighted that he has chosen to bring his see his brand new project. Okay, to life in partnership with PlayStation. So, it, I mean, that's all this is, guys. I mean, so the people who claim that they're upset have just been misinforming people. That that was from 2015. Okay, that, that is from 2015. So, <laughs> the game was delisted from Sony's exclusive list two months ago. Well, it never should have been up there, but yeah, yeah, I do remember that. But up th that shit is from four years ago. My studio. A partnership, nothing said about exclusivity. Now, maybe PlayStation will get some type of exclusive stuff. Maybe that, uh, maybe Sony, maybe uh, the stuff you see your character wearing, it's Sam, that got played by uh, Norman Reedus. Uh, so maybe he gets some type of exclusive stuff. No different than if you play Mass Effect on PC. There's stuff on the PC that's not on the console. Because I was I was shocked. I thought I'd seen everything. But when I play that on PC, I'm like, oh, well, this is not on the console. Like, oh, you don't have that outfit on the console. Like, oh, look at that. I mean, I don't remember seeing that gun on the console. So, you know, it, it's just they, they put different stuff out there. So... <laughs> Concrete genie and dreams on LSD. Well, I can tell you right now, dreams is supposed to be for um, everybody. Again, the dreams is Sony's version of Minecraft. That's what the developer wants it to be, and that's not news to Sony. Okay, Concrete Genie to me should go to PC. Uh, that's just that's that game is dying to go on PC. So, and that's coming from people. I haven't played it yet, but I talked to three people that have, and they were like, yeah, that game could go to PC. It, it, you know, that's one game I'm like, yeah, it should go to PC, or it should go to wherever. It's got to go somewhere else. That game could go to the Switch. I think that game could be a huge hit on the Switch. So, Corey Max said, play the damn games and enjoy yourself. Oh, shout out to JTech TV. How you doing? So, uh, the Almighty Spartan guy, which all right, any questions? I'm going to be here for about another 15 minutes. So, if that, I'm just looking for questions at this point. So, uh, what's funny is how, um, well, I mean, again, who cares what they say? Who cares what those idiots say? I mean, that 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 console is dying like the Lot Ness monster. So, So, yeah, but over six months, yeah, I don't see why this is such a big deal. It's actually, they've been, they've had proprietary ownership of it since 2016 when we, whenever, when did they show that shit at, P, was it PSX? I'm sorry. When did they show Kojima's game at first, Death Stranding? They, did they show it at PSX like 2016, 2017? So for the last two and a half years, all we've seen is that game on PlayStation. So, well, Big Cloud, who's been crying on Twitter? Who's been crying on Twitter? 
So, all right, see, so yeah, I answered that one. Shout out to Corey Massey. Uh, Titanfall, probably didn't see there, Titanfall Prince. Again, thank, thank, thank you for you and um, Lincoln Clay, the Ageless Wonder, for inviting me to live with Wakanda. But uh, you guys go opposite um, of college football on Saturday. But shout out to you all. So, uh, she moved three. Not owned by Sony, but they pay with Shimu 3 to make it on PS4. Um, yeah, Shimu 3, I would assume, will be on all consoles. I assume. But I've never played Shimu 1 and 2. But everybody keeps telling me it's like a friggin' life changing experience. So I guess I'll have to get into it at some point. So what Sony gets from this, more money, more time, and maybe full exclusive. All Sony is getting from this is one. They're getting promotion, constant promotion in Japan because Kojima's got a huge following in Japan. He's got a big following worldwide. Shout out to, uh, I think, uh, Broken Games HD said that he saw him at an E3 and he had a mob of people around. It's like, it was like one of the Beatles. So I think that's what uh, BG was saying. But um, Sony gets to, to say we're, from, we're, we're um, you know, Sony is publishing the game on PlayStation. The game has been shown on nothing but PlayStation for the last two and a half years. Uh, Kojima is always at their events. Uh, Kojima brings cameras, press, all that stuff. So they are getting all what Kojima is bringing to Sony. You can't measure in gaming. He's bringing a whole bunch of notoriety, and Sony is eating this up. I mean, Sony is the one who wants this score out from White Zaddy, okay? White Zaddy's getting is putting this score out on Friday. Now, you all know I don't care what the score is going to be because I'm buying the game. I'm going to play it. So, uh, but it is Sony who wants this game, um, whatever, on Metacritic out, that number out. So that's a Sony thing. So uh, Street Fighter V was the same thing. Street Fighter V was a console exclusive. It, Yeah, Street Fighter V is a console exclusive. So. Titanfall Princess, I miss House Marquee guys. Well, I miss you, Titanfall Princess. So, <laughs> uh, I got angry. He said the announcement was made at a time that would hurt the PS4 sales, which it has. Would hurt the PS4 Pro special sales, which it has. Um, okay, okay. Well, yeah, he he would know more about that than me. Um, but again, the people who want that console, I want that console. I, you know, but PO can't afford the owner. Oh, I'm trying to get that 5700 XT uh, GPU. So, um, but a shout out to uh, DC. So, shout out to DC, definitely. So, we'll still be only on PlayStation consoles, so only on PS4 and PC. Um, yeah, and I assume it's assumed it will be on PS5. So, and again, I look, what was, what did everybody say to go get this generation? Get the Nintendo system, if you want it, get a PlayStation and build yourselves a PC because that covers everything. I mean, that covers everything. All right. So, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to be streaming the hell out of Death Stranding. I'm not, I may double dip if it gets the PC and it's only like 29 bucks. I may go ahead and double dip it. And that's perfectly fine. Thank you. It was Square Enix. All right, cool, cool, cool. And Square Enix is making the Avengers game, right? Right. So, what's up, Jemai Dixon? How you doing, brother? Master P be like, ugh, yeah. <laughs> hmm, so. All right, he said the album wasn't trash. I disagree, but the album wasn't the point. The point is that he just signed with Master P to get out from under uh, death row. So, nothing for any more questions. So, you're playing it, don't care, but yeah, I mean, I just don't get it. You know, I, I don't get why you all don't know what Sony, what studio Sony owns and don't don't own. Like this proves to me you all listen to the wrong people. That's all it proves to me. And like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't know who th who whoever thinks, and this is for anybody, any studio that's an independent studio is can put their games wherever the hell they want. Yes, Microsoft may get publishing rights, okay? Uh Sony may get publishing rights, Nintendo may get publishing rights. But ultimately, uh, who makes uh, that game Cuphead? 
MD8, something like that, like that studio, that's an independent studio. Those people, didn't one of those guys like put put a second mortgage on his home or sell his house to finish the game? Microsoft didn't give them no money, but they struck a deal with Microsoft for that game. And then that game went to PC. So it's simple. It's just like that. So, so um, I, I don't know how it sabotages sales on the PS4 because the, the PS4 has a Death Stranding console. So if you really want that console, there's nothing stopping you from getting it. So, but again, uh, Colvane is here. <laughs> Cobain is here, and Cobain will be getting played when I beat Gears, and I'm trying to go through this outer world. Like I said, I announced this the other day, you won Matador. Uh, what, once I go ahead and beat Gears, I can start on Cobain and then Death Stranding and all that all that stuff. And I still got to take on something called the Sawmill Horde, whatever the hell that is. So. <laughs> Titanfall Prince is going to play Tekken, all right, so... Later, Big Cloud. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna get out of here shortly. And Insomniac, they weren't owned by Sony. They would have put Spider-Man on PC if they wanted to. Uh, that's a little different because Sony has a little more say in what happens with Spider-Man. Uh, but again, it, Insomniac is an independent studio that signed a contract with Sony to make Spider-Man. And Sony turned around and published the game. Sony had publishing rights, and because Sony had publishing rights, they controlled who got that game, and they only published it to PlayStation. That's how Spider-Man worked, okay? That's how it worked, all right? Publishing rights went to Sony. Had publishing rights went to... Now, can Sony license out the publishing rights? Absolutely. Are they going to do it? Oh, we have to wait and see. I doubt it, but we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, they can't mark. Well, I mean, again, Sony is already working with Marvel. Sony is, uh, it made the introduction to Marvel games with Insomniac. And, you know, and, and everybody's happy with that game. I, I can proudly report that the money that game made, everybody's happy. Sony's happy, Sony and Marvel's happy, and Marvel is a company you do want to be doing business with because they are one of the, they're like the darling right now. They're the pretty girl in the club. You know, they're the best looking stripper getting all the, getting, making it rain. And uh, Insomniac Games is flush with cash and just to the point where, but you got to understand how Sony won over Insomniac Games. They actually invited Insomniac Games people to the Marvel Studios, okay? They invited them there. They hung out with the actors and actresses of the Avengers thing, and it just blew them away. It just blew them away. You talk about Insomniac Games. So, uh, I mean, being on the set where they were making uh, Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, I mean, that that's a big... I mean, that, it's tough to top that, man. You know, so, yeah, you know, I understand. Uh, Put Square did an article saying a Doctor Strange game would be perfect for Remedy to develop if Sony ever purchased them. Uh, yeah, it would be cool. That would be cool. I agree with that, especially with uh the with control and uh, all that stuff. Yeah, that would be cool. I I'm not lying about that. Yeah, get on that shit. Get on that. Well, again, Sony doesn't have to buy Remedy in order for that game to be made. Marvel Games, Marvel Games, not Marvel Studios. Marvel Games is a separate entity, and Marvel Games can go ahead and say, hey, look, Remedy, we like what you did with this game. Can you put Doctor Strange in there? And uh, I don't know, Baron Ma Mondor and all those guys. You know, Yeah, that would be cool. That would, I ain't going to lie about that. So <laughs> Ted Price and Robert Downey Jr. picture was corny and looked for us. Hey, it could have been, could have been, could have been. Marvel went to Sony, sold them to Insomni, and Sony showed them. Yeah, that's the way that worked. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Because Marvel Games is Marvel Games is the reason why we're getting, we got the Spider-Man game. Marvel Games is why you got the Ultimate Alliance thingy. Marvel Games is why we're getting the Avengers game. That's all Marvel Games. That has nothing to do with Bob Iger, Alan Horn, and Kevin Feige. You know, that those are 
two different studios. So, yeah, the Iron Man VR game. So, uh, Astro Bot, after Astro, you gave it up. Yeah, I'm waiting to see about that um, Iron Man VR. So, uh, never mind about Spidey. Okay. So, um, games are the interesting. Yeah, so I, I don't know. So, anybody who tells you, well, this game will never be on PC. This game will never be somewhere. If it's a first party game, more than likely, yeah, you're right. I mean, they're, they're absolutely right. Okay. Uh, if it's a third party game, not, nah, not nah, because that means that Sony can, can put like Quantic Dream. Quantic Dream's an independent studio. They made Detroit, they made Heavy Rain, they made uh, Beyond Two Souls. Okay. So they make those three games. All Sony did was publish those games to PlayStation. That's it. Now, and everybody knows who's done their research on that studio, Quantic Dreams took heavy rain where? They took it to Microsoft first. So that's it. So Sony liked the game. They're like, yeah, put the game on our console. We will publish it for you guys. So that's one more thing that they don't have to do because Sony published it. Sony controls where they publish it to, and Quantic Dream was happy to sign that deal to get that game published, and Sony only published it to one platform. Now, Quantic Dream, being an independent studio, gets bought out by another studio, and, and since it's Quantic Dream's IP, it is their IP, they go ahead and they pull all their IP, they take their toys and they go home. Sony can't stop them. Sony can't stop them, but because they have a good working relationship with Sony, they put Detroit Become Human, like the, the top version, the, the one that had the, had the art, the music, they put all of that on PlayStation Plus. And if, as long as you have Plus, you can go ahead and play that game right now, I believe. I mean, I've got that game. So, uh, so yeah, I'm double dipping on that shit. So. Yeah, Quantum Dream took it to Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. So therefore, that proves that proves was what was Spartan God is saying. That proves that Quantum Dream owns that IP, not Sony. They went to Sony second. <laughs> so Sony contracted Insomniac to make the game once they had Spider-Man deal in place. Uh, well, remember they already had that deal. That they started working on that game before the renegotiation happened, but. I mean, to seal everything up, Sony bought Insomniac Games. So now Sony will publish that Spider-Man. Now they can publish it to whoever the hell they want to. So, but more than likely, it will just be to the PlayStation console. More than likely. So, <laughs> so uh, why are some people acting like Sony first order games were not on other platforms? Sony, so yeah, I, again, I, I don't know. I don't know, Corey, because be, because the people who are pushing that narrative are are they're being listened to, and they they are pushing out false information. So again, they don't know the difference in the first party studios that are separate from the second party studio. There's independent studios that have first party deals. Okay, uh, Modern Warfare is made by what Activision. Or whoever made Modern Warfare, the one that just came out, that's an independent studio, okay? Sony did not publish that game. Activision, I believe, published the game, right? And that the way that works? Activision publishes the game, but they had a deal with Sony for content. That's it. So Sony has a, you know, for, for content, all right? This content will be proprietary to us for one year. Remember all those people started going nuts and going crazy and, you know, throwing their mama from the train and all that stuff. It's because of that, of the deal. So Sony controls the marketing. Sony gets the first div. We all know that uh, Zaddy said that, uh, shout out to Jade Up City, according to, to, to Zaddy, that the best place to play that game on console is on the PlayStation console, okay? That's, that's a reality. That's a reality. No different than uh, Witcher 3. Witcher 3 had a uh, marketing deal with Microsoft, okay? 
And that's why when Witcher got its upgrade for, for the Xbox and or the Pro, it was on the Xbox for over, what, 90 days or six months? It was on there for a long time. Then all of a sudden, here come all these patches for the PlayStation. I mean, if you think that was not done on purpose, you're crazy. You're crazy. But again, CD Projekt Red is an independent studio. Microsoft has first party rights with them with their game. That's it to market the game. That's all they have. Uh, Sony with Death Stranding had an independent deal for marketing and publishing with Kojima. And it looks like they bought six months priority on everybody. That's the deal. Okay, Kojima Studios, if we wake up, if you wake up uh, April 18th and it says Sony has purchased Kojima Studios, okay, let's just say that happens. And then Sony says, okay, we purchased Kojima Studios, but Death Stranding is already coming out on PC. But Death Stranding Part 2, if there's a Part 2, will only be on PlayStation. That's the way that would work. OK, that's why people are looking at that game, The Outer Worlds. And they're like, well, everybody knows that game is multi-plat, you know, but um, they're claiming that the sequel will only be on Xbox for the simple fact that Xbox now owns the studio. That's it. So if Insomniac, so if Obsidian makes that game, makes a sequel, which I don't know how they would, but if, if Obsidian says we're going to make a sequel to Outer Worlds, Xbox, it, it will. Xbox will will. Um, Xbox Gaming Studios will do what? They'll publish the game. That's it. Now they can publish it to whoever the hell they want. Whether it just be to, they can say, you know what, we're going to publish it on PC. Okay, that's all they. That's it. Hey, we're just going to put this on PC. Yeah, you know, because that's that's the priority of the publisher. So, um, why are gamer interested into idios? Uh, intricacies of game publishing. I don't think they understand the differences in uh, people getting trademarks, people getting um, people getting trademarks, and people getting publishing rights. People uh, first party studios versus third party independent studios with with marketing deals. They assume that I don't know why they assume that Sony, that Kojima, who just got out of a studio, would go right back into one. You know, he's an independent developer. Now, this doesn't mean that, that Death Stranding on PS4, look what you got. You got, they got total publishing. They have marketing rights. They've got a console, okay? They've got a console, all right? They very well may have things on the PS4 that never go to PC, okay? That's just reality. They may have things in there that's prioritized to them. So we'll have to wait and see. The game looks stunning. So you know, it, it, but but the game was created on PC and give it, and then brought to PlayStation. They just going to put the PC code into the PC. So yes, they should be able to run it at you know, you know, sixty frames a second. They may activate ray tracing on there. Y'all know Kojima will will probably put ray tracing on this damn game. You know, so uh, now let Nvidia and AMD, <coughs> excuse me, fight for priority rights on PC. Because I'm sure the video is walking around talking about, yeah, we want you to put this on an RTX 2080 or 3000, you know, or 3080 Ti, you know, uh, and this will be the greatest looking game of all time, Mr. Kojima. I mean, they're going to go in there and pitch their shit. So, you know, it's just the way it is. So uh, reviews for Death Stranding looking great. Well, we'll know. Uh, we'll know in a couple days. We'll know in a couple days. So. Uh, Sony and Marvel games were working on a Spider-Man game deal since Activision contract expired. Um, okay, well, that's fine uh, that they were working on a deal. Uh, again, the deal came from Marvel. Marvel went to Sony, and then Sony said, we recommend this developer. That They had that meeting, and the developer said, well, we would like to do a Spider-Man game, and they pitched their idea to uh, Marvel Games, and Marvel Games said, looked at Sony and said, do you vouch for these guys? And Sony said, yeah. Here, you know, they've made quality content for us for the last, whatever, 15 years. You know, so, and the rest is history. 
Isn't Spider-Man one of the top selling, if not the top selling game this generation? Well, besides Minecraft, isn't it the top selling game? You know, uh, I know somebody's going to say Uncharted 4 possibly, but it's up. Spider-Man's up there. I mean, Spider-Man was back in the top 20 MPD. How was that even possible? You know, <laughs> so this it is what it is. So, so dreams could be the end of Sony as a whole. I don't see how when they literally want that game to be a Minecraft clone. So, but guys, it's almost 11 o'clock on the East Coast. I'm going to get out of here. So I just want to touch base on that. And um, yeah. And let me tell you something. I took the bus home tonight. There's some very interesting people on the bus. That's all I can say. They're very interesting people. And I got a contact when I was on there. So, but uh, yeah, going to get on up out of here, guys. I do appreciate you stopping by. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And uh, shout out to everybody coming through. Savage Uger, always good seeing you, brother. So and shout out to my boy T3 Medias. Make sure you all go check him out. Okay, we're putting this power thing together for you guys. We're going to see how this goes. So uh, but shout out to him for reaching out. I do appreciate it. So GTA 4 with two DLCs, first on Xbox 360, but the PS3 version got PS4 with two DLCs, full collection on the PS3. Okay, well, again, yeah. Well, that just goes to show you, Rockstar Games, didn't they publish Grand Theft Auto? Aren't they a publisher as well? But Sony and Microsoft has struck in deals with them for different marketing. So, but all right then, guys, that is it. Like I said, that you know, you got to know the difference and their and who owns what, and then what that can go ahead and inspire. You know, and uh, what Sony owns is Gorilla, Sucker Punch, all those games. Okay, now are people going to say, well, because because they put Death Stranding on PC? They'll put other games on PC. Well, again, they don't own Kojima Studios, so they can't control Kojima Studios from going and licensing another publisher for PC. Sony is not publishing that game to PC. So there, there's your first indication. Like anybody who knows anything about publishing understands that if if a if if an intellectual property has to go to somewhere else, Sony's basically saying, we're not gonna publish this game on PC, Kojima. And Kojima, being an independent person, may have asked them, hey, look, do you want to publish it first? You want to publish my game to PC? And Sony could have said, no, kick rocks, go go somewhere else. But 505 has published several games to PC. I think they published, um, didn't 505 publish, uh, well, shit fire. I can see that girl's face, the bug-eyed looking girl. Um, Hellblade. I think 505 published Hellblade and a couple other games. So it doesn't shock me. And I, matter of fact, I said this the other day. I said that that game, if it goes to PC, would not be published by Sony. They will probably reach out to it to somebody else to do it. And it looks like they found it. So now, if, if Sony wants to be smart, I would buy that 505. I would I would buy 505 and just say, hey, look, we want your studio. So, you know, but all right, guys, we're going, I'm going to get it off here. Didn't Sean say, don't be surprised that PS multiplayers will come to PC. I think Sony will still do it. Well, I think all the games that are, this is my opinion, the games that are eSports title games should all just be multiplayer and crossplay. And I've said that for a year. You know, I've said that for a year. So, um, but we'll have to wait and see. No, what you know, but yeah, that predator hunting grounds, yeah, H one Z one, yeah, that that should be on PC. I mean, I don't know why it's not like crossplay on PC. So, um, but yeah, I mean, they're I mean, if they're gonna bring back Mag and bring back um, some other multiplayer shooters that they used to have on the PlayStation Three, fine, that's fine. I mean, I got no issue with that. So. So yeah, Hellblade physical copies. All right, yeah, because Hellblade was just a digital download, right? Right. So, <laughs> so Death Stranding is first. Again, it can't be first because they don't own Death Stranding. Uh, Dreams. Uh, again, you need to understand. Media Molecule wants Dreams to go to other platforms, just like um, oh, Sugar Free. That Roblox game and all that shit. So, 
Oh, thank you, Princess, for the butter biscuit. Yeah, that made me full. So I'm going to get on off here, guys. Y'all take it easy. Stay blessed. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.